Temperatures are chilly. We're sitting in the 40s, but you can see in our Piqua camera, nothing concerning about tonight's forecast. The camera is shaking a little bit because there is still a light breeze that's out there. But those winds will diminish and die down as we head into the early morning hours of your Thursday. As far as temperatures are concerned, there's a front that's moved through. And because of that, we have some cooler air that's settling in. We're at 38 right now in Salina, 39 in Greenville, still near 50 in Springboro. So that gives you an idea of where that cold air has settled in and how it's pushing southward. This will reflect in our temperatures more so for tomorrow afternoon in comparison to what we had earlier today. As far as what you can expect as you step out the door early tomorrow morning, just a few fair weather clouds. That's all from the cooler air being ushered in, but they're fair weather. They don't bring us any precipitation. We wake up early tomorrow morning around 30 degrees in the city of Dayton, spots across the north in those upper 20s. So a warm coat, a hot coffee, and the sunglasses. you want to make sure you have those with you as you step out the door. Plenty of sunshine expected for the rest of the day tomorrow. We get back to about the mid-40s for a high. Now, today, we reached a high of 62 degrees at the Dayton International Airport. So that is almost 20 degrees cooler in 24 hours. So that cold front, while it didn't bring us any rain, it's certainly going to bring a change to our temperature and our weather pattern overall. Moving into the upcoming weekend, we see highs that will steadily creep back up. On Friday, we're at 43 degrees, so a little bit cooler than what we're expecting tomorrow, but we have the sunshine still in the forecast. Saturday, we get a high of 44 degrees, lots of sun. Both days, we wake up in the 20s. Seasonable, though, with those highs in the low to mid-40s. Then on Sunday, we start to see a wind shift, and temperatures are going to be pushing close to 50 degrees, should I say, for a high. And that's just the beginning of a warm-up that I see as we head into the next 10 days. So let me break out that pattern for you. You can see over the five-day forecast, there's that little dip for Thursday, Friday, into Saturday. We start to climb back up on Sunday, and then Monday's high, 56 degrees. We do not stop there, because as we move into the extended forecast, I see highs up to about 62 degrees on Tuesday, 65 on Wednesday, and then there's a steady decline again as we get into the latter part of next week. Now, this curvature in our temperatures is going to be reflective of a warm front and then a cold front that's going to bring us our next chance for rain. So we go about seven, eight, maybe even nine days without any precipitation. Now, we're just kicking off the month of March, and there does seem to be a pattern to be wetter than average by the time the month wraps up. We'll have to wait to see if that actually pans out. But be mindful, you start to bring in a more active pattern with the mild temperatures, and we're moving into March. That could certainly mean the potential for some strong, if not severe, thunderstorms. And my outlook for severe weather this year does show that we might have that earlier onset due to that La Nina jet stream. So I'll keep an eye on that as we head through the next few weeks. But overall, there's that five-day forecast. We're in the 40s and 50s with sunny skies through Monday. All right, McCall, thank you. Early in the newscast, we asked if you lived in Texas or Mississippi, would you stop wearing a mask when those states lift the restriction? These are the numbers we got tonight. 26% of the folks who took part said yes. 74% said no, as always. We appreciate your feedback. Talk about a creative approach. Just